I stayed there, but I was on that side so I could see over there. And there's New Street Station. And Spoons is up that way on that side street. And there's a news agent's by there. So, here's today's plan. Uh, Spoons, Wellington, Post Office Vaults, which are all up that way. Sort of. There was snow. There's no snow now. It's chilly. Oh yeah, it's Saturday, 5th March 2016. It's light and it's 10 to 8 in the morning. Stop number one, purple spoons by your rose. And the Wellington, stop number two. That was Cranbridge's. This is Celebration Pale Ale by Davenport, 3.8% alcohol by volume, and it's a half. I'm sort of working on my uniques. Already been retweeted by Welly the Cat. However, it was the weather forecast. Nice bit of carpet in this morning. Nice finish. I don't know, spicy maybe? I'm not sure what this tastes of. Spicy. B plus. Number two. Nettle Crusher from the Elland Brewery, 4.4%. Nice big head. That's spicy. P plus in a bit, 3.25 and tap scale. Mm, nice and spicy. <laughs> Christmas. Despite the fact it's now spring, which it isn't because of the snow, which we don't have today, but we did yesterday. Nice bit of carpet in here as well, Mr. Manny. Valley is round the corner. This is Cherry Dark Titanic, 4.4% alcohol by body. Nice table. Oh, they've been retweeted. Mm. The cherry is very up front and then long into the finish. Which is rather good. B plus plus. Easily. This is from Squawk. This is their IPA, 6% alcohol by volume. Well, he has disappeared. Although he did retweet me. What a nice cat. Mm. Ooh, hops. Tons and tons and tons of scents, chinook hops, B plus plus, lovely. Okay, post office vaults, our nails. This is from Siren. Soundwave ICA, 5.6% alcohol by volume. The barmaid is testing them all. What a great job. And there's the beer bible. 
we can't fix the place we've gone. They're not close our loco because if mm. we're in negotiation with Retro Rail Tours to this port. That's an IPA. I think we go to the West Coast, but these cases are not there as well. Citrus, yeah. Really, really nice. Yeah, it's all good. 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 It's all which is XX Bitter by Brasserie de Rank, 6% alcohol by volume. First time I've ever had in bottles. Modern Lambic Fontinas, I've had it, and the bar at the station in Hartlepool. They were both on draft. So it'll be interesting to see how it is out of the bottle. This is out of the fridge. So my hand is on it to warm it up slightly low glass by its very nature a good insulator shut up and get on with it oh smells wonderful a minus for just for the aroma Yeah, it's very nice. Happy, hoppy, bitter. Excellent. Okay, so this is Petrus, food brewing, 5.5% alcohol by volume, live tasting, with some Greg's from next door. We can take it in hand. I've already smelled it, it smells Ooh. Ooh. B plus plus and bit. Three point seven five on the top scale. I'd be even better if it warms up a bit. This was like a um, uh, more Lambic Fontenay. Branded Brasserie de la Seine glasses. And from Brasserie de la Seine. How does this work? 4.5% alcohol by volume. Okay, big head. <laughs> oh, that was nice. Stop. Copy. B plus plus. It's a nice headline. Yes. <laughs>